Something has just happened more than 15 billion miles, over 24 billion kilometers from Earth. In a region where the sun is nothing but a faint dot and radio waves fade into near silence, Voyager 1, humanity's farthest traveling emissary, has encountered something that should not exist. Scientists at NASA's Deep Space Network call it a wall. But what kind of wall could possibly exist in interstellar space, a realm thought to be almost perfectly empty? Could it be a cosmic boundary, a membrane between universes, or something artificial left behind by a civilization far older than ours? Or is it merely a quirk of physics, a ripple in the fabric of space-time itself? These are the questions now haunting engineers and astrophysicists across three continents, as Voyager 1 continues to send home data that defies every known model of the interstellar medium. Launched in the summer of 1977, Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It was designed for a five-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn, yet nearly half a century later its faint signal still reaches Earth, though it takes over 22 hours for a single transmission to cross the vast gulf of space. For decades it has been humanity's ghost ship drifting through the abyss, transmitting whispers from a place no human mind has ever truly imagined. But now, for the first time since it crossed the heliopause in 2012, Voyager's instruments have begun to behave as if they have encountered a frontier that is both invisible and impenetrable. The first signs were subtle, a slight increase in plasma density readings, then a distortion in cosmic ray detection. At first, scientists assumed it was a malfunction. After all, Voyager 1's systems are older than most of the people monitoring it. But then came a pattern, a steady, rhythmic fluctuation in background particle counts, repeating every 138 minutes. The data was too precise, too deliberate, too patterned to be noise. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quietly convened an emergency meeting in early September. Insiders say the phrase used in the minutes of that meeting was chilling. Voyager 1 may have reached a discontinuity in interstellar space. A discontinuity, a polite scientific term for something we cannot explain. The public didn't hear about it, not yet. NASA, ever cautious, wanted confirmation. But word spread through the scientific underground, through late-night messages, encrypted data packets, and speculative whispers. What could cause a spacecraft to register a change in interstellar plasma so uniform, so geometric, that even the onboard magnetometer couldn't make sense of it? For context, interstellar space is supposed to be nearly featureless. Between stars lie clouds of hydrogen and dust so thin that each cubic meter contains only a few atoms. Voyager 1, after leaving the Sun's sphere of influence, known as the heliosphere, was expected to enter this void and coast quietly into forever. Instead, its instruments are now detecting a pressure front a region where charged particles are abruptly slowed, compressed, and reflected. It's as if the spacecraft has hit the edge of an invisible bubble. And this bubble is not the heliopause. That boundary was crossed long ago. This is something beyond, something that exists far outside the region, shaped by solar winds. NASA's plasma wave team reported a rise in frequency oscillations, signals consistent with dense plasma, yet unlike anything previously measured. It's as though Voyager has entered a medium more akin to a fluid than a vacuum. When the news finally leaked, independent researchers began scouring archived data, comparing Voyager's readings to other cosmic sources. They found something unsettling. Voyager's sudden plasma wall 
echoes faint anomalies detected decades ago by Pioneer 10 and 11, both of which experienced inexplicable deceleration as they drifted away from the sun. At the time, these were dismissed as minor propulsion irregularities. But what if they weren't? What if, all along, our solar system has been encased in some kind of cosmic shell, a region where the laws of physics subtly change? Some theorists propose that this wall may be the outermost boundary of the sun's gravitational influence, a kind of interstellar tide where forces from neighbouring star systems begin to dominate. Others, more daring, suggest it could be a termination shock from ancient stellar eruptions, remnants of a supernova long ago, frozen in place by magnetic fields spanning light years. But there are other voices too, quiet, cautious and speculative, voices suggesting something intelligent might be involved. When Voyager 1's data stream began to fluctuate, the intervals between signals displayed an almost deliberate cadence. At first, this was attributed to power cycling within the spacecraft's decaying nuclear batteries. But after statistical analysis, researchers found that the pulse intervals matched the hydrogen line frequency, one of the most fundamental constants in the universe used in attempts to communicate with extraterrestrial intelligence. The odds of this being random? Less than one in ten billion, according to one physicist who spoke off-record. Could something or someone be responding to Voyager's presence? The notion seems absurd. Voyager is a relic, a fragile assembly of aluminum and copper older than most satellites still orbiting Earth. It carries a golden record, a message from humanity, etched in analogue form, containing music, greetings and images of our world. Perhaps it's only poetic irony that now, decades later, it might be receiving a message of its own, not in words or sounds, but in the strange, coded rhythm of charged particles. Inside NASA's control room, the signal is weak, distorted by distance and time. Engineers describe it as a whisper from another realm. Yet each new packet of data only deepens the mystery. Instruments designed to measure plasma density are showing values that oscillate between extremes as if space itself were vibrating. Magnetic readings fluctuate beyond expected cosmic variants. And most curiously, Voyager's gyroscopes have detected minute changes in orientation, as if the spacecraft were encountering a subtle, unseen resistance. If space is empty, what could possibly be pushing back? One theory gaining traction involves the concept of a plasma sheath a boundary where interstellar and intergalactic mediums interact. These regions can act like cosmic membranes, trapping energy and reflecting radiation. Yet, according to standard models, Voyager shouldn't reach anything like that for another 10,000 years. Unless, of course, something has changed. Perhaps the fabric of space around our solar system isn't static at all. Astrophysicists at Caltech and MIT are now re-examining decades of data from deep space probes. One team even ran simulations based on the most recent readings, and the results were startling. Voyager 1's signal delay pattern implies a refraction effect, as though radio waves are bending through a denser medium. That would mean space ahead of it is not the same vacuum it once travelled through. It may be an entirely different environment, denser, charged and structured. Meanwhile, within NASA's internal documentation, one file name has caught attention. Project ECHO. No official record of such a project exists publicly, but insiders claim it refers to a joint effort between NASA and the Department of Defense to analyze unexplained electromagnetic reflections from beyond the heliopause.
If true, it suggests this anomaly may have been known, or at least suspected, for years. And yet, despite the mounting evidence, NASA's official statement remains cautious. A spokesperson recently said, Voyager 1 continues to return valuable data from the interstellar medium. Some of these readings are unusual, but we attribute them to expected fluctuations. Expected? Hardly. What Voyager 1 is encountering cannot be easily explained away. The patterns are too coherent, the changes too abrupt. It's as if the spacecraft has entered the edge of a hidden structure something vast, encompassing, and perhaps ancient. Some independent scientists even propose a radical idea that our solar system is moving through a region of altered space, a remnant field left over from a past cosmic event, maybe even the collision of our galaxy with another. If true, then Voyager 1 may not just be reporting a strange wall. It could be the first human-made object to confirm that space itself has boundaries, layers, and perhaps even memories. But if that's the case, what lies beyond this wall? And what if Voyager isn't alone out there? In late September, a quiet update appeared in NASA's telemetry logs. Voyager 1's signal, once faint but stable, had begun to echo. Engineers noticed that when they sent a routine command to the spacecraft, a faint mirror signal returned, fractionally delayed, but unmistakably structured. This had never happened before in the probe's 48 years of continuous operation. For a brief, haunting moment, the spacecraft appeared to be whispering back in duplicate. That echo triggered a chain of sleepless nights at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Data scientists checked and rechecked transmission integrity, scanning for solar interference, ionospheric reflection, or onboard feedback errors. None fit the data. The delay was too consistent, the amplitude too deliberate. It was as if Voyager's signal was bouncing off something vast, invisible, and responsive. A cosmic mirror, but one that seemed to move. What they found next deepened the mystery. The reflected signal was slightly frequency shifted, just enough to imply motion relative to the spacecraft. Whatever Voyager had encountered wasn't static. It was drifting, breathing, almost alive. The readings suggested a wavefront, a moving boundary, where interstellar plasma densities oscillated in perfect rhythm with the hydrogen resonance frequency. In other words, the wall itself seemed to be humming, at the same pitch as the most fundamental note in the universe. The implications were staggering. If this wall was natural, it might represent a long-theorized but never observed feature— the outermost membrane of our sun's magnetic field interacting with the galaxy's own. But if it wasn't natural, if its rhythmic modulation was intentional, then humanity had just brushed against something built, something designed. There are whispers now, hushed, unconfirmed, of a decoded modulation buried in that echo. Analysts say it contained repeating prime number intervals, an unmistakable hallmark of intelligence. NASA predictably has declined to comment, stating only that the data remains under analysis. But in the late-night control room, among the exhausted engineers staring at streams of ones and zeros, the unspoken thought lingers, did something just answer us? Voyager 1 continues to drift forward, powered by less than half the energy of a common household light bulb. Its instruments are aging, its batteries fading. Yet, with every byte of data, it carries the weight of all human curiosity, our collective question cast into the void. Who else is out there? And if there really is a wall, one humming in the language of hydrogen, reflecting our signals with purpose, then it may not be a barrier at all. It might be a door. 
No one at NASA will say those words aloud. But behind the official statements, behind the technical jargon and cautious optimism, lies a tremor of awe and fear. Voyager 1 has gone where no human instrument has gone before, and in doing so it may have touched the threshold of something beyond comprehension. Perhaps the universe isn't silent. Perhaps it has been waiting for us to listen long enough, to reach far enough, to finally knock on the right boundary. And maybe, just maybe, that knock has now been answered. So, as we stand here, on this small blue world orbiting a modest star, listening to a faint ancient signal from the edge of everything, one question remains. What if the wall voyager found isn't the end of our journey, but the beginning of theirs toward us? If this story shook your sense of wonder, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and tap that hype icon to stay on board as we follow Voyager's trail into the unknown. Because somewhere beyond that cosmic wall, the story of humanity's next chapter may already be unfolding.